Sorry, but you have to suffer with me now. I refuse to be a crab in a bucket with you. Too bad. Suffer. 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 You're auto-tuned. Yes. <laughs> Stop that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, time for Slaneshmus. Right. Well, can you guess who that is, Fable? I refuse. I have received your proposal. Why is it in Korean? <laughs> Subtitles in Korean. Uh, I assume by the sick voice and all the extra bits in the back, it's probably, uh... Slanesh? No. Thaddeus, Thaddeus Bile? Yes, that's Thaddeus Bile. Uh, yeah, he sounds sick, and I know he is sick. I thought it was Slanesh. I thought we were seeing him. Slanesh you wouldn't see, Chrono. One, she is quite literally uh, a force near. She is the chaos god of excess. <clears throat> oh yeah, I forgot she was a she. Well, it uh, honestly, she Depends. uses she uh, she's one of the few things that uses all pronouns because she he it has both bits and pieces. Oh, so she's a hermaphrodite. I know. Kinda, it's it's you know? confusing. Anyway, moving on. Yeah. I'm a... I can't even begin to I mean, so are her math guys, you but, you know. <laughs> Okay. It's just... I'm sorry just for the choke there. It's fine. Ridiculous. And I can't believe that you think that working with him is a good idea. Oh my god. In addition to the fact that you have the audacity to suggest that I should help you in this endeavor. Oh. It only adds to the obscenity of it all. He's just typing to him. I fucking love the idea. <laughs> I'll get the cogitators warmed up and the recap oh. ready for your arrival. Recap. I can't wait to see the look on the faces of the inhabitants of the oh, galaxy no. when we expose to them this complete mind wreck of a train. It's going to be great. Oh. Oh, Most regards, you magnificent bastards. Oh my God. Be seeing you soon, Fabius Bile. Well, oh. P.S. If Lucius caught me barb on live HP, I will knock him the fuck out. <laughs> yeah, for some reason he hates that Lucius calls him Bob. <laughs> oh yeah, they're celebrating uh, Sanguinala. You know. To celebrate Sanguinius. Oh dear. So there's so chaos is celebrating their thing. What is that in the background? Oh my god, that's the symbol of Zeech and Slanesh up there. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Slanesh special time! Oh great, Lucius. think of that fable i'm confused like legitimately confused i know there's no rhyme or reason to chaos god insanity but was that supposed to be funny i guess it was a bunch of slapstick uh 
I'm all Trip. I'm all for slapstick comedy, but that didn't really feel slapstick. Yeah, and I think they're trying to emulate the Andre the uh, what was it Andre Andre show? I forget his name. The Eric Andre show. Ah, I don't know why I can say it. Oh my god. Yes. Oh, a bunch of dead guardsmen. Uh, who else remembers the squads? Uh, if you ask me, they didn't go to the gym enough. Hey! Uh, the squats are back, actually. They're the leagues of OTAN, but anyway. Get it? Squats? Gym? Get it? This is your idea of stamp. So, like, uh. I actually met Hansel the other day. Real swell guy, actually. Hansel is a weird thing. Mm -hmm. He's apparently made from chimeric gene seed of, uh, I think, Night Lord and, uh, I forget what other. Night Lord and something. It's Night Lord and Iron Warriors, I'm pretty sure. But uh, other than that, I know nothing about him. Oh yeah, and he also has that weird metal arm that I think I make. He's made from Necromunda. You mean Necrodermis? Necrodermis, yeah. He's apparently a horrible guy who beats the shit out of the other Iron Warriors, but uh, that's all I know about him—that he's cruel. That that just sounds like normal Iron Warrior behavior. So pretty much. Oh. oh! Where am I? What the f- Hi, Mom! I'm on HD! Pretty go! It's not your time <laughs> here! You can't stay until we call for you! I refuse! <laughs> what the fuck? Congratulations, that was the first genuine laugh you got out of me from this really shitty special. That's just because you love Kaldor Drago and all of his madness. Yes, but at the same time, I I know this is supposed to be very, um, I, I don't want to be rude, very bad, but Lucius isn't funny. I know, I know. <laughs> Bro. What the fuck? Okay, so he's smoking wheat. Is, is he smoking a book? Levels, bro. Good oh, lord. Good mind. Who was the first Your guest luck. again? I think it was, um, what's up? Mario Sapatio, everyone! Do you have any idea who this is? Who did they just slip in? Oh. Uh, who the fuck is that? Mario Sapatio! I. Mario Sapatio. I don't know that name. She looks like a fallen sister of battle, but that's the most extremely rare thing there is. That's the thing. I'm trying to remember. I saw this video talking about uh, how it's. You're right. Uh, sisters of battle falling is extremely rare. It's not unheard of, but it's it's more impo It's not. Eh, it's a thing. I think she's one of the first to fall. I think. She yeah. He's supposed to be a core knight uh, worshiper. Yeah, I think she is. She she's one of the, she was uh, apparently in one of the part of the order of the martyred lady. I remember sisters, but fails because of their dedication and uh, their dedication and faith to the emperor. Yeah, I they're quite that's her? they're I quite literally so faithful that rare like the it's super rare, like incredibly rare for a sister of battle to fall. Hell, one story literally talks about how a sister of battle fell to frickin' fell to a gene stealer cult and then and then the gene stealer cult and then a um chaos cult fought fought over this I think it was a psyker because they were supposed to be really powerful. It was a whole stupid story in my honest opinion. Oh. But yeah, no, it's it's weird. 
Yeah, they usually never fall, only in, like, the presence of, like, you have to be a really, really powerful demon to make that happen. Well, the thing is, uh, from what I understand, Sisters of Battle can become possessed by demons and their, like, and their, uh, and the chaos within them, but they can't exactly fall like I, this, like, if, either. If I remember correctly, uh, there is an order that does that, that gets possessed by demons and then exercises them. Yeah. But yeah, she's one of the only Sister of Battle that have fallen. I don't think there's any actual stories about her, but she's here. So you only have one chair for your guests? Don't worry about it! Yeah, don't worry. Here, I found Seriously, it. Fine. Well, still uh, about I found it. the information. Mm -hmm. It says here, Mario Sabrosval is a former su uh, Sister Superior of the Adeptus Oratos, Order of Our Martyred Lady. Is only known as a Sister of Battle in history... Uh, see, she's the only known battle sister in the history of the Imperial Man to have willingly turned to service of Chaos, becoming the, cha the Chaos Champion of Slanesh. Ew. Oh, she's a Slaneshi uh, Chaos Champion. Ew. Is this just... not yeah, so that's what I'm thinking. What the hell? What? Tell me, what's your box number? That's. Oh my god. Isn't this being broadcast live all across the galaxy? Yep. Then yeah, I'm not telling you. Yeah, no need to be stuck up about it. Oh my god. No need for that. What the fuck are they doing? Um, I have no real thoughts on that. Would you be about copulating? What? Are you bastards not taking me seriously? I'm guessing no one takes her seriously in the fandom because she is quite literally the only known sister of Battle to do it. So yeah, it, no, I'm looking up her lore. Apparently, the only reason she serves uh, serves Lanesh is because she was literally captured by a demon prince and who basically tortured her and eventually he broke her will. So yeah, she's. I guess she falls into the martyred lady part really well but yeah no, it's, it's kind of stupid i don't even think she's still canon funny enough there is an order that was uh basically their martyr or lady that led them was tortured and basically the people that torture her said oh yeah she falls she totally fell before she died she like resigned against her god even though she was dead so there was no proof of that so they just they didn't kill them instead they basically forced them to a point where they are constantly being tortured yeah. I'm so sick of people not respecting me. Not oh yeah, me you're seriously. the only. Just... Basically, you sound like the only sister of battle that is the weakest one. <laughs> yeah. Also, according to this, she she has the title of being the first sister of battle to willingly fall to such disgrace. So, technically, she's a legend, but not in a good way. <laughs> Basically, she's infamous. <laughs> yeah, which is really sad. And it's yeah. so damn depressing and infuriating. Uh -huh. And nobody takes me seriously either, you know? Like, I don't I think Lucius is paying attention deserve. anymore. He, he's not. So tell me, what hand product do you use? Because hot damn girl, I need some of that! Oh, oh. Well, it's low. He doesn't have Wait, any hair. You don't have hair. Is that so? Yeah. No pity, you oh my god, he's wearing a wig. What the fuck is going on? Yeah, I don't know. Apparently it's this thing or some oh my shit. God. What? It's Laneshness? And no one reminded me? Fuck! Now it all makes sense. Oh. I was the normal guardsman. What the fuck? What are you watching? Oh, they're it's... watching it. I don't even know. It, it just came on a few minutes ago and it's on... Some all the channels I can find. Wait, is that Aramin? You know one of these clowns? No. Oh. Bastard is my first captain. What is he playing at right now? From what I can tell, trying to break everyone's minds with a crazy Holovision show. Considering the general. Oh, don't start there. The Imperium, if that is his plan, it's probably working. The fact that I feel strangely. Entranced by this abomination. Oh. 
might be a sign of something going on. It's, it's probably like Thaddeus Biles' crazy bullshit. There are broken bodies and blood lying everywhere, and you just can't look away even though you want to. Crikey. Crikey? <laughs> yeah, he's Australian, all right. They yeah. made him for Australia. <laughs> I'm pretty, yeah. No one did. Like no one in the right the world world. says "Great Yellows for Australia." Pretty much. So, who's the next guest? Chrono, just so you know, Typhus is the mortal champion, or I'm not even sure what, if he can be considered mortal champion of Nurgle, the god of disease, rot, and decay. Oh, dear god. And empathy, which is weird. Entropy, sorry. And life. It's, uh, yeah. it's gross. Yeah, he's also, he's also the reason why the Death Guard became basically what they are right now. Yeah, like, he's oh, who warp. got them trapped in the warp. Yeah, it's oh. his fault. It's literally his fault. And he is the grossest motherfucker yeah, on the planet right now. Yeah, and the thing that's kind of interesting about him, though, I guess, if you want to consider it, but he's literally creating space zombies. Yeah, that's his the... whole thing right now in the lore. He's literally creating something called the Walking Pox. Yeah, the Walking Pox is basically, you know, normal zombies, Chrono? Yeah. Well, uh. Well, these zombies, you can. St the people inside are still alive and they're still aware of everything that's going on. They just can't control their bodies. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah. It's, so basically, it's... killing them would be kind of like murder. It would be a mercy. It, yeah, it'd be a mercy kill, pretty much. Yep. Damn. That, that's his whole thing right now. He's just creating a bunch of diseases in one part of the galaxy, and and there's an order of um, there's an order of inquisitors that are just like, oh shit, we gotta deal with this crap. So yeah, there's, let's go there's, do this. there's a there's a little order just basically made to fight diseases. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Also, there is, funny enough, I did learn about Ish, the, El, uh, the Eldar life god that he has captive. She will whispers the cure to his diseases that he lets out, which is nice. I, I read, though, I don't know if this is true or not, but Nurgle knows that she's telling, that she's whispering the cures, and I think that makes him happy because he can find ways to make his diseases stronger because of it. It's... I don't know how true that is, but knowing Nurgle, it might kind of be true, and that scares me. It could be due to the circle of life that he's fine with it, but it's, uh, it's yeah. That we're all going to the same place, eh? Of course, my touchy tentacle friend! Ew. So, tell us about this book you're writing. I've heard it's the latest part of the series. Oh my like god. So. It is called The Pus of Man. Ew. They made him a fucking redditor. <laughs> oh dear god, bit. not the redditor. They also gave him a bit of a Gilbert Godfrey voice. <laughs> Just yeah. funny to read. Hey, I'm Gilbert Godfrey. I think he's supposed to be like that guy who just constantly writes bad fan fiction. Ew. Chaos Champions oh. just appeared. Great. Yeah. Well, what we're missing is uh, Karn. Horn of 
the betrayer, yeah. Yeah, that'd con. be horrible. Yeah. You mean the scallops as red fellow? Yeah, con. There he is. They all hate each other, though, so they're usually not together at all. Yeah, it made sense. One is literally a walking fox. The other one, Aramin, is just an idiot who wants to prove himself better than his father and fits his legion. And there's Lucius, and don't even get me started on him. Yeah. Uh, the best way I can put it is... Uh... Uh, shit. The, since they all work for different Chaos Gods, the Chaos Gods don't always agree. So they're always undercutting each other, which is one of the reasons they can never truly win. Yeah, well. The only time they're ever united, they were ever united was against the God Emperor. So. Yeah. Because he was their biggest threat and competitor. I mean, I did. That or if there's ever a, um, a Chaos Demon of... A uh, Chaos... Undivided demon? If yeah. they start getting power, then they're gonna have to start working together. Because they can't have another one popping out of nowhere. Yeah, because if they get too powerful, they will become a new chaos god, and they don't want any competition. Or any oh, more competition. Oh. Oh, he called Karn, and all he got was angry grunts. Up his contact details with Sly Marbles again. Nope, I'm 100% certain of that. How oh, come? Because Sly Marble is here! What? Sly Marvel just took out three of the Chaos Champions. It's <laughs> amazing. Oh, that happened. What a great guy! I know, right? What the hell? Well, we have time for one last guest before the show's finale. Okay, who is it? Oh boy. Oh god. Right. Davius Bile is someone with such a big ego chrono that he believes he is saving humanity by working with the Chaos Gods. Oh god. He also is. Okay, so basically to sum him up in a uh, kind of easier way to understand, he's a scientist, an atheist that does not believe in chaos, but he is using it for his own gain. He basically oh. has do has on record said this. I do not believe in you, nor do I believe in your existence. To believe in you means would give you power. I refuse to do so. He's the puppet on the screen pretending to be, pretending to think he's not a puppet. It's really depressingly sad in every sense of the word. He also likes to clone wow. people. Yes, he's also trying to create something called the Newman, which is basically a much more advanced human race. So he does a bunch of messed up exper uh, experiments because he because humanity in his eyes is doomed to fail. So he wants to be the architect of the future of humanity, which is like you're basically the mad scientist trope and you're very boring. Got it. <laughs> uh, funny yeah. enough. Got it. His equal in science in the Imperium, uh, god damn it, what's his name? Call, uh, one of the major tech priests. Basically, they had a talk with him because Thaddeus Bai was like appeared before him saying, Oh, we are going to have a civil talk with a man of science. Don't you see? I'm trying to save in the Imperium. And Call quite literally says, Forgive me for not believing the man just in the man skin suit is trying to help <laughs> humanity. And the only reason uh, Call didn't immediately murder him, murder him with melted guns is because he had Call's son's son in a headlock with a knife to his throat. There's also the fact that Val, uh, that Vile basically, um, he, like, there's this video I saw where basically someone's just like, who do I think is stronger or better between these two? It's just like, they're both experts in different fields of science and technology. That's not a fair assessment. <laughs> it's really not that you know? it, it's really not because they're both excellent at different things Cole is really good at technology and somewhat a biomancy which is how he created the 
um, the um, the Primaris Marines, well, well, this loser here is more good at stealing technology and also somewhat good at cloning, which is another form of biomancy in a weird way. Oh. But yeah, they're both experts oh. in different fields, so it's not good to it's not good to you know say who's stronger, who's better. Or to try to get I I don't. I personally yeah. think Call is better because he quite literally tells Bile. He says, Thaddeus Bile, you are a cliche. He says he this to his face. He is, though. He basically, says, also, he basically said, go away, you're boring me. Also, one last thing. In the book where those two talked, it's called, I think it's called the, um, the Gene Father or something like that? Anyway, uh, he basically stole he basically stole the information on how to create Primaris Marines, so possibly in the future... We are going to get Primaris Chaos Marines, which is like the worst decision GW has ever thought of doing, the in my opinion. I don't even get going. I'm sorry, Petra, that you have to fill that hole in your yard. Because it's just like, it's just like, please, GW, if you want to get Chaos stronger, make it its own thing. Don't keep stealing stuff from your other faction that people I'm... like. I do think it's funny that he talked down to Call saying your work is subpar and then he steals Primaris Marine stuff. Yeah. Yeah. It's quite literally hypocrisy. None of you guys know it is. The hustle oh. I'm bringing here today. Oh boy. He also managed to once correctly clone a his his gene father, uh, Fulgrim, but that's the only reason it worked is because uh, his soul went into the clone's body. And even Thaddeus was actually scared of him with how much he was like the original. Because yep. noise marines started to bow to him. That's... yeah. My shit is top notch, see? I've oh, decided that I'm gonna do a solo black crusade. Mm -hmm. What? <laughs> going to help Abaddon? Fuck that pussy ass bitch. You know? <laughs> oh my god. I don't need him. He needs me. Well, I mean, I guess it's not I do love that he quite literally is going insane here. Sure because that's just normal, Thaddeus. He thinks he's the, the shit. Super soldiers to bring along, right? <laughs> oh no, I ain't doing that. Pardon? I did say this was a solo Black Crusade, dog. <laughs> oh my I'm god. I'm doing this shit by myself. <laughs> what? Okay, time out for a second. The dick are you talking about right now? <laughs> Bitch, I could clone <laughs> anyone. Yeah, that wasn't what I... In fact, just to prove my point, ladies and motherfuckers, hey for your eyes. Is adamant 2.0! What the fuck? You leave me out of this shit. What the fuck? What the What in Zeech's blue balls is that? It's a work in progress. <laughs> no, fuck that. I didn't make you eat it. Don't talk to a son like that, you heartless jerk. <laughs> as a test of my faith in the man emperor uh, and now we're all just kind of i still like he like it. like they still in his pajamas know how to feel about this program it might be the most chucklesome thing i have watched since this text to speech device was installed into my face it has actually succeeded in pausing my relentless sobbing noises that always happens on this day of all days Suffice oh yeah say, because it's sanguinius the remembrance of sanguinius day I am absolutely disgusted with myself. What is a? Yeah, we do have the Sanguinor. 
Which we're not sure if that's actually Sanguinius or not. It's probably part of the soul. Probably. Sure. I hope. Just technically, Sanguinius well, had like two chaos. Uh, if you if you believe in the theory, he had he possibly had two chaos um, two gods. gods in his body. That's why he had his wings. There probably were minor gods. He had two. Uh -huh. yeah. In addition, yeah, they possibly... all had. Minor. That's why. That's why all the primarchs are the way they are. They all have um, minor uh, gods. Minor and... gods in. Yeah. Most likely, I suspect. Well, it's certainly amusing to see these heretical fools flounder around like complete imbeciles and get blown up amongst other things. I am not amused. Oh. I only just learned that you could be Same amused at all. So that, <laughs> that does not surprise me. I oh. am slightly infuriating. Oh. oh fuck up. You can feel two whole emotions now. For you. And what have you done to my Rokel? That's a big guy. It's such a big thing to say. But surely nothing to get angry about. I personally think it's hilarious. No. Oh. No. The enemies of man have hacked every single holo video station in the galaxy and broadcasted this stupid show on every single frequency, yeah. compromising centuries of imperial secrecy about chaos to the mass populations. I'd say that's a pretty good reason to be upset right now. Yeah. You are correct, but also, no, that is mm. not why I am angry. Then why? Because that man with a high-pitched voice keeps breaking desks. Oh. What? He is breaking perfectly formed wooden furniture for no reason other than forcing a cheap slapstick joke. That is something I cannot forgive. Then why are you still watching? Because you have snacks, and mm. they are delicious. <laughs> God, I feel Rogel so much with that one sentence. Maybe in a bit, Vince. Maybe after this one. Tomboys and fanboys! Oh. I realize no. we've gotten this far into the show! Surprisingly. Yeah, surprisingly. <laughs> Good. So, to leave our own mark here too, I decided to spread the word of Slanishmas! Basically, we're gonna make you a loyalist fox a deal. You get one day, one day each year, that we don't terrorize, murder, and annihilate your mind, souls, and bodies. And in return, we expect the fucking same. see eld let's see orcs eldar tyranids the tau the dark eldar and finally the necrons problems that we as a species have to deal with eventually so let's use this day each year to come together as a species and the aliens yeah, oh Well then. Babel? Uh, yeah? Do you, what do you think about this? I honestly think that if certain factions were to work together, they would be able to stop. Uh, the biggest threat right now in the galaxy is in fact the Tyranids, oh. since they're highly adaptable to every situation possible. Yeah. However, I think 
working with chaos as a whole or even a little bit is out of the question because chaos is evil for evil's sake true so working with oh. them even if it means stop chaos, uh the isn't worth it oh look two guardsmen regiments both chaos and normal are charging the orcs Oh. Is that a demon engine? I think so. Let me go back there. I actually clicked the button. You, you went too far back. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, that's a demon engine. And a, yeah, okay. an imperial knight. I think that's Dark Eldar stuff. Oh, Shazo's being murdered by Minotaurs and a Chaos Marine. Well, that was different. And yes. Not what I was expecting. By the way, can we play games now? All right, companion, put on Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. I relate to him on so many levels. <laughs> This abomination of a show has come too way close. Now I can't go back to saying sob repeatedly. Do you think people will actually go along with this crazy idea? No. I think Wait, he's sleeping. Wait, didn't Sanguinala end like three months ago? Oh, a somber Sanguinala. <laughs> No. Oh. What's up? Nothing. Thank you all so much for coming by. If you like what we're doing here, please do consider subscribing, following, doing all that crazy stuff. Uh, subscribe! Question to those who watch this video. Uh, if you could, which factions do you think would work together could work together to defeat the Tyranids? I if mean, you no, could have it that way. Below too. What faction you would like to be a part of? That's also a thing too, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I will say, the Eldar and the Imperium have worked together before on many occasions. Also, if you could, would you destroy Would you destroy the Dark Eldar and how? And if you say you wouldn't, I'm going to judge you. Drop a Genobomb on them. Anyway. Yes, drop 20 Genobombs on them. Thank you all so much, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.